Well, I talked about how you can shoot off the dribble, how you can shoot off the catch, how you can improve your ball handling, how you can improve your defense. And I've just been there, done that. But what if I told you that one way that you can improve yourself as a basketball player is to improve your balance. So, what? I have a question for you. Do you want to know how you can improve your balance in basketball? Because in this video, I'm going to be explaining how you can improve your balance and the reason why balance is important in the first place. So, Without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the reason why having great balance is important in basketball is because, you know, say if you're, you know, shooting, you know, if you're shooting off the dribble, you do need to be able to balance yourself and be able to um, have your feet set by the time, you know, you release the ball so you can have enough power to shoot the ball with accuracy and have a higher chance of making the shot. So, yes, one reason why having great balance is important is because it really just improves your overall game. And the next reason why having great balance is so important is because say that, you know, if you're an athletic player, you going up for a dunk and you're just trying to make the crowd go wild with uh, just crazy dunk and then you land on the ground awkwardly and you end up hurting yourself one so my second reason is because you know having great balances can uh, keep you from landing in a bad way and will just help you be able to land safely after you throw down the dunk so that you can impress the crowd impress your teammates and at the same time you won't hurt yourself in the process okay now going into some drills that can help you improve yourself and improve your balance it's just one drill where you're going to be standing on one leg and you're going to have another leg in the air and you're going to have your eyes closed and you're going to hold the ball above your head and try to balance yourself for as long as you can and you just set how long you want to be able to balance yourself for and if you reach that goal you continue to improve upon that and just keep doing it keep putting that work in towards it and get better and better at it and also these drills are a bit challenging so don't get upset don't get frustrated and just don't get angry at yourself if you're struggling to stay balanced because at the end of the day the whole point of these drills are to help you improve your balance and you know so don't really like expect to be the absolute best you know especially if you might you know if you're new to these drills or or just you're just not that balanced right now you know don't take it up you no know, just don't take it hard on yourself you just keep putting that work in keep putting the time in keep you know putting the effort in to increasing your balance and just getting better at these drills for every time that you attempt to do these drills. So this next drill is similar to the figure eight and also similar to the last drill that I mentioned is where you're gonna be standing on one leg and having another leg, but this time you're gonna be holding the other leg out while you're doing the figure eight around the leg that you're standing on. And again, you know, with these drills, 
you can set like a certain amount of number of reps that you want to do or maybe even switch it up you know you can stand on your right leg and do like 10 reps around that leg and then switch the legs and then do 10 with the left leg you know if you enjoyed this video please leave a like please subscribe and comment down below your thoughts on this video and thank you all for watching and peace